Coach, thank you for letting us come in. And, and right off the bat, I want to mention, we're practicing today here at Choctaw Central High School at 8 a.m. You guys start practice. Uh, and, and thank you for letting us come in and talk a little bit with you and, we, and share some of your knowledge because you've been so successful here. And I believe today, Coach, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, your press. Right. Or your, uh, and and yeah. I'm going to let you explain what we're going to do. Okay. What we're going to do is, I guess if we're known for anything, it's pressure defense. Right. And we're going to go through and kind of explain uh, as well as we can at, in the time that we have right. of how we set that up and our responsibilities at each of the positions Fantastic. and then we'll kind of walk through uh, okay. the rotation and then we'll let you look at it live. As Coach, that's fantastic. So, hey, listen, get ready. This is some. Uh, this is coming from a proven winner. These girls here are just great, great athletes, good hustle. They're here at 8 a.m. this morning and uh, this is going to be good. All right, Coach, I'm going to let you take it from okay. here. We're going to talk a little bit about your defense. I'm just going to kind of Q&A as we go along, okay? okay sure. All right, I'll let you take it. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go through our first trap, go through the backside rotation, and then we'll go into the middle, and then we'll talk about our back end and the responsibilities back there. We don't care where they inbound the ball as okay. long as they inbound the ball in front of us. All right? We have our keys are that the side they go to, we're going to trap outside in, inside out. Okay, so it doesn't matter you where they are. No. Automatically built in is going to be, if they're left or right, you're going to guys are have a standard as to how you're going to trap, and that is outside in. Is that what? We're going to come right? inside out, outside in. Outside, okay, yeah. inside out, outside in. So it right. doesn't matter to you, that's preset, you're ready to go. Right. Yeah, and uh -huh. this is how they, when you come in, this is always going to be your set when they come with the inbounds that's pass. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's okay. correct. Okay. All right. We're going to inbound it to one side or the other, baby. Doesn't matter which one you go to. All right. Right there. All right. We want to make sure that we cover the outside hip right here and the inside hip right here. And we want this foot in front far enough that she can't split the trail. All right. All right. So the outside girl, uh, naturally for me, not that, that, that baseball savvy, but, uh, excuse me, basketball savvy, but it's, I guess it's outside in. So you want to make sure we get that outside right. hip covered. And also here on the inside, get it covered. Right. We want to try to freeze that trap her right there so right. that she has nowhere to go. That's correct. Okay. Okay. On the back side, we're going to rotate into this area, kind of into the front of the rim, to where she can take the next most dangerous pass. Doesn't matter where it is or who it is. Right. We're not worried about the man, we're worried about the ball. That's what, that was my next yeah. question. Right okay. here is it doesn't worry about who she's guarding, it's more about where that ball is right. going. Right, it's the okay. area of the floor. All right. Okay? okay. All right, now, as they come down, our girl in the middle is responsible for three things. She's basically responsible for any pass that comes into the middle, right. deep. She's responsible for each corner. And right. she's always going to shadow the side that the ball comes into. Okay. If the ball comes in here, she's going to shadow this side. Okay. All right. If the ball comes in on this side, she's going to shadow. Okay. All right. She's watching the ball, watching the ball out of bounds, so that she can read the eyes of the inbounder. The inbounder okay. looks long, then she's going to anticipate long. And her keys are that if she can get her hand on the ball, we're going to make a front angle. If she can't get her hands on the ball, we're going to make a back angle. And okay. what we don't want to do is for them to be able to take the sideline. Okay. And on the back side back here, this girl is going to be on the free throw line right. or she's going to be as deep as the deepest man on the floor. Okay? okay. She always has ball responsibility. Ball she never responsibility. has anything but ball side responsibility. Okay. Okay. Now, if they reverse the ball, then the responsibilities are automatically reversed. Okay. If they reverse the ball to this side, then we got trout here and here. Okay. We got released to the middle. Okay. We got released to the back side. Right. Can we look at that then? Sure. And, and, and if they reverse that back yeah. to this side, yeah, we'll take a look at that. We can do that. Uh -huh. All right, pop it back in there, baby. All right, inbound. Here, back in. All right, in from here, here. All right, reverse. All right, back to the back side. Rotate to the back side over here. She's got all this much. Okay. All right, Coach, so I saw the trap. I saw the outside uh, protected, that outside hip, inside hip, ball came back, they were reversed it over. Everybody's taking ball transition here, right. and then we're back down the court. Correct. Okay, and everybody on the back side then is taking angles when they reversed the ball. Right. They reversed it then, so you transitioned over when the ball did, worked angles backside, pushing up the court. Okay. That's here. correct. All right, then what, And you'll see we? that we got backside responsibility here. Right. All right. We had ball side responsibility here, and as soon as they transition the ball into the offensive area, we're automatically in 
we mainly run a one three one. Okay. And we're automatically in our one three one. The okay. backside wing becomes this wing here. Okay. The ball side wing becomes this wing here. Right. The girl in the middle becomes our chaser. Okay. The point of the press becomes okay. the point of our thirteen. And the girl that had down floor responsibility becomes the center of the thirteen. Okay. The ball has now been transitioned into the offensive end, right. and it's, they're ready to run a play. Right. All right. right, our wing here, our wing here will okay. take the first pass, whichever side it comes to. Okay. All right. When you say take the first pass, as the ball transitions right here, then they, Kick it over. they're sliding out. Right. She's right? coming out. All right. Okay. Rotate, guys. All right. We're rotating in here. The chaser is coming outside the lane, as you can see here. Right. She's got baseline responsibility. She's got responsibility from the top of the block to the corner. Okay. We come here, there's no low post player here, all right? If there's a low post player here, then we're going to have Kristen come out and she's going to take the low post. Okay. All right, she's going to front the low post. Okay. You can see that, that Jenna has uh, rotated to the backside inside the lane, right. and she is fronting the backside low post because we have one. Gotcha. Okay? okay? Now, the point guard here is rotated over, and our point guard has rotated to the free throw line. Right. All right, kick the ball down there, baby. Okay, now, she's going to rotate one step deeper here. Okay. She has responsibility down lower now, and she has responsibility to cut off any pass from this side into the middle. Okay. All right. What we have done is we have invited them to go back out here. Gotcha. All right. We feel that we're less threatened with the ball out here than right. we are with the ball back in here or with the ball here. Right. In basketball, yeah. you want to try to force them to do their weakest point, what they don't do well. Yeah. And that's what you try to do with this defense. That's correct. Okay. We don't want anybody to do what they want to do. Gotcha. We would gotcha. much rather them do what we want them to do. Right. Now, but that's what we want to do. Gotcha. Okay. So now that this is all in one transition. So then we coast back to the point again. Everybody reverse back. Right. To court Kick mountains. it back over. Over here. We got here. We're gonna recover here. We're gonna recover here. We're gonna recover here. She stays down. Right. Okay. Kick it back here. Here. Now we balance down. back. Right. Kick it over. Step out. Step over. Step down. Step here. All right, come across, uh, Charmaine, go out in the corner, baby. Kick it out. All right, our chaser goes out as far as she goes. Okay. Okay? Okay. We're going to step down lower here because we have no down court help. Right. All right, got full backside here. She's down to the first lane line right here. Right. Right there, she's still got responsibility to cut off anything back in here. Right. And we're inviting them to come here. Gotcha. Okay, super. Okay. I tell you what, Coach, we're, we're going to take a look. Uh, Coach has been uh, kind enough to go ahead, and he's going to put this thing in motion. We're going to step back, take a look, and watch it in, uh, okay. watch it in transition. All right, guys, let's go. All right, we're going full speed. Make it work. All right, let's go. Our time here with Coach Tullish and Coach Roach is about to wind down here at Choctaw High School. Coach, it's been a delight to be here to watch uh, you teach your defense that you guys are so well known for. Uh, I think it's just been invaluable to our viewers too. We're going to talk a little bit today. We were talking just a few minutes ago. We always get to see the kids on the court. We can talk to the head coach. I want to talk a little bit about though, it's kind of a unique situation about Coach Roach. Not only Coach Roach uh, uh, played for you, now she's come back and she's your assistant coach. How do you utilize her and what is her role that you see in this team? 
she probably has as big a role as I do in some situations bigger. Right. You know, the girls all know who she is. Uh, they remember her playing. Uh, they know how she played. Uh, they have a tremendous amount of respect for her. Right. And uh, not only did they know that how she played in high school, but they know that she still plays. Right. And right. Uh, she's played against every one of them in uh, wow. rec league and tournaments and things. So they know that she knows what she's talking about. Gotcha. And Crystal okay. makes a lot of our calls. Uh, she knows everything we do. She played right. it for four years. Right. And we hadn't changed a whole lot. You know, we're not smart enough to change a lot. <laughs> and a lot of it, honestly, we feel like doesn't need to be changed. It's good, solid, basic, sound stuff, yeah. and it, it continues to work. Right. And hopefully it will this year. Super. But, uh, you know, we're really lucky to have Crystal. Right. Uh, she knows our program. She knows our kids. She knows their families. They know her. And uh, there's just a tremendous right. amount of respect and trust there. Super. Hey, Coach Roach, uh, and Crystal Roach, um, t can you tell me just a little bit about what the decision was for playing for Coach and, and then coming back here to coach with uh, Coach Tullis? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I've been waiting for this moment because in 2001, I lost my state championship crown. Right. And I felt like I really wanted to help this team. Right. And to be right. able to provide what I can. Um, so there okay, would nice. be no regret for these girls that's awesome. and just being able to walk in that coliseum and having our um, Choctaw people come out and support us it was a great great feeling and I want these girls to feel that and oh, that, that's no that, that's 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 I don't know how you put that really into perspective. I mean, I think that's just that's fantastic to have somebody that's that devoted. And you heard we're here like on the Choctaw Tribal, Choctaw, Choctaw Mississippi. And uh, I just think that speaks volumes about who you are as a person. Also, Coach, too, coming back and having a former player come back here to carry on that tradition and give back to your community. Uh, I play college ball, and I'll tell you what, that, that, that goes a long way. And that's, talk about a role model and example. That's what it's all about, Coach Roach. Thank you. So, and, and listen, thank you. And, and it's wonderful that you're back. I know Coach, Coach Tullis is just, <laughs> it couldn't believe it, probably getting back here and being so fortunate to have you here, okay? Well, I'm just very honored, very honored to be here. Hey, listen, uh, thank you so much for joining us at Prep Sports Network. I think that today with the teaching that we have here, you guys take that and put it to use. I can't see any way that it won't give you, uh, not only make you a better player, uh, but make your team a better, uh, a better team, but also give you that edge. And that's what we're trying to do at Prep Sports Network. I'm Mike Denson.